should be where Kokomi said to meet her. Do you still remember this place? Paimon remembers we came by here last time we visited Watatsumi Island. That was back when you did your stint as captain of Swordfish 2. Hmm. Paimon's curious whether the Resistance troops still remember you. Things on the island must have changed a lot since then. Oh, shall we take a look around? If the enemy outnumbers you, seek their weakness and exploit it. If you outnumber the enemy, seek unequivocal domination and crush them. Marauders on the waterfront are supplied by sea. Burning their ships is the path to success. <sighs> General Goro, sir, do you, do you have a verdict? More or less. From the directives left behind by Her Excellency, we can surmise that a Fatui ship is moored nearby. This explains their aggressive posture. We could split into two teams, one to draw their attention, and the other to circle around behind enemy lines and set fire to their ship. They'd have nowhere to run. Uh, then again, Madame Kokumi made clear that we are not to split up without sufficient forces. We'd risk being picked off one by one until our whole line of defense disintegrated. Sir, shall I send for reinforcements? <sighs> I doubt there's time. Based on their movements, they'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Her Excellency's directives also stipulate that we should wait in ambush and avoid making the first move. Uh, since we lack sufficient troops, I don't think we can afford to engage the enemy at this time. Sir, we're just gonna stand by and watch them leave? Surely there must be another way. Uh, Her Excellency's directives also state help may arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from, I... Hey, Goro! What are you guys up to? Captain, you've returned to Watatsumi Island. That's great! <laughs> Her Excellency's directives are as reliable as ever. You've arrived just in time. Recently, the remnants of the Fatui forces have been unusually active. We've been monitoring their movements waiting in ambush here. Unfortunately, we don't have the manpower to split into two teams. Can we ask you to keep them occupied? Hard to say no when it's the Fatui. Whatever they're planning, we won't let them get away with it. Good. There's not a moment to lose. We'll go behind enemy lines and sabotage their ship. Let's meet back here afterward. Watch yourselves. We'll be back shortly. Seems like the Resistance still remembers us. Come on, let's help them get this situation under control. Comrades, they've set the ship on fire! An arson attack! Curse them! They leave us no choice but to attack! Comrades, let's make them regret it! We were lucky to have you here. We'd have no way to prevent their escape without you. What's that you're holding? Is it the directives from Kokomi? Let Paimon see! Oh, wow! This is a whole book! Is it all Kokomi's directives? Yeah. Well, no, not all of them. I have five more volumes with me. Are you serious? Her Excellency always plans for every scenario. Plus, these are her general operational directives, which are more comprehensive than most. Still, we're fortunate to have them. They make sure we're prepared for every eventuality, no matter how complex. Oh, understanding every eventuality sounds tiring enough, let alone writing them all down. Must have taken Kokomi a heck of a long time. Captain! Are you back on Watatsumi Island to lead Swordfish 2 again? We've all been feeling your absence. Her Excellency says that now is a time of peace, and that we should reduce the size of the military and focus on helping the civilian population return to normal life. About half of us are still organized into task forces, supporting the platoons. The other half have been given various other functions like patrol, instruction, and farming. Of course, not everyone's happy about it. The other day, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line, kicking and screaming. <laughs> the spirit of the Resistance is alive and well, huh? Anyway, we're here because Kokomi invited us to the Victory Feast. Do you know where we could find her, Goro? 
I believe Her Excellency is currently at Boro Village. There were reports of a possible disturbance over there. If I'm not mistaken, Her Excellency has gone to deal with it in person. We should probably get going ourselves. And, uh, <clears throat> also, on your way over, please check in on the soldiers. I'm sensing a growing unease among them, but I don't know what's causing it. They won't say. They used to tell me all their concerns, but whatever this is, they're keeping it hidden. I don't like it one bit. I suspect there's trouble afoot. Sounds good! Paimo was just thinking it'd be good to see everyone again. Ready when you are! Wait, aren't you... Captain of Swordfish too? Oh, it is you! Oh, you have our gratitude. Watatsumi Island wouldn't have come to peace without your efforts. I wasn't with Swordfish 2, but I, I did see you with Tatarasuna. Oh, you really gave it to those shogunate samurai in the fight of honor? <laughs> oh, it was quite the show. Is there anything you need from me? I'm at your service. Uh, on edge, you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've noticed it too. In fairness, the battle isn't long over and, well, perhaps it isn't quite over for them. You know what I mean? Every single person looked death in the face that day. It's not an experience you forget in a hurry. Victory's declared and all of a sudden, the fighting's over. But people can't just snap back into normal life again. I think things will improve, but it's gonna take some time. I don't know what else it could be, but what I do know is that as long as Her Excellency is with us, Watatsumi Island is safe. And all the more so now that you're back. Seriously, if there's ever anything you need, just say the word. What a nice guy. Let's go ask some other people. <gasps> oh, peace at last. Live in the dream. Hmm. Don't I know you? I've definitely seen you somewhere before. Can't place you, but I'm guessing you're not with the Shogun's army. So, do you need something? Unsettled? Hmm. Un unsettled how? I haven't noticed anything. Not that I would, necessarily. I keep to myself, mostly. They're all too rowdy for me. We're at peace now, finally, and I for one intend to make the most of it. My life right now is about two things and two things only. The sun and the sea breeze. <sighs> Sorry that I can't be more help to you. I'll tell you someone you could ask, though. San Gonamiya. She knows everything. Huh. Seems he's about to fall asleep. Let's leave him to rest and go find someone else to ask. Ugh. I don't understand what Her Excellency is thinking. I mean, peace talks? Give me a break. Why would she agree to that? Exactly. Everyone knows you can't trust the Tenryo Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the Fatui and plan to continue their attacks. Wait, for real? You're sure of this? Positive. Some of our guys had a run-in with a few Fatui. They caught them conspiring together firsthand. I knew it! The Tenryo Commission are a bunch of crooks. They'll never change. Honestly, it's kind of naive for Her Excellency to take them at their word, isn't it? Shh, keep your voice down. Someone's coming. Hey there, what you talking about? Uh, Captain, you're back. Do you think we should tell the Captain about what we were discussing just now? No, no, let's not mention it. He's one of her closest advisors. For all we know, the peace talks could have been his idea. I'm sure the captain would see where we're coming from, but you're right. We should probably play it safe. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to Watatsumi Island, Captain. Nothing to report here. Everything is a-okay. Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over if you wish, Captain. Hmm. I'm definitely detected some hush-hush going on there. But if they aren't gonna talk, we might as well head over to the village. Uh, reporting in, Captain. Nothing to report. If you're looking for Her Excellency, you should find her in the village. 